In this video, you will learn the pros and cons of a laser pointer, as well as some safety warnings, how to tape a laser pointer so the batteries don't fall out, how following up laser pointer play with a physical toy and treats can help prevent cats from developing OCD about light, shadows, and glares. It is not required kit, but I keep a laser pointer on my carabiner. A laser pointer is a perfect tool to draw a stressed out cat from under the bed, out of a closet, or away from their favorite hiding spot deep within the springs of a couch in the basement. While laser pointers can be a fun way to get a shy cat to come out and play, they come with a few safety warnings and caveats. First, a warning about batteries. Laser pointers have small, coin-sized batteries that can damage a dog's intestines if swallowed. Further, if you put a laser pointer on your carabiner, the laser pointer will eventually unscrew itself and spill the batteries out, which is nearly impossible to notice. So, I use a bit of 3M black tape and tape the ends of the laser pointer so they don't fall out. Most pet stores have cheap laser pointers, and you can buy the same laser pointer branded by many different companies. This one is available through Chewy. The next thing we should talk about when we talk about laser pointers is laser pointers and OCD in cats. When using a laser pointer to play with a cat or a dog, it's a good idea to follow up the laser with play with a physical toy, like a feather toy. If you only use a laser over a period of time, pets can become obsessive compulsive about light, shadows, and reflections. Following up with a feather toy allows the cat to actually catch something, which is much more rewarding. I also recommend giving the cats in your care a couple of treats after playtime so the cats get a feeling of a successful hunt with a tasty treat at the end. Since we're on the subject, I'll mention feather toys here. I don't bring a feather toy with me to visits because I don't think it's a good idea to share toys between visits. But I mentioned the feather toy here because again, if you use the laser pointer, you should follow up that play with a feather toy or another physical toy. I've played with a ton of feather toys over the years and this one is hands down the best out there. It's really long and has a feather that cats can't resist. Just be sure to put this toy up after playtime because cats tend to chew on the fake feathers. For safety, this toy should only be used for supervised play. As with all of our videos, check the description below for a link where you can pick up one of these for yourself.